20 yards from the Kelly goal. Dicker now takes it. You can hear the Kelly fans <coughs> singing there. There is a lot to be positive at the moment after about half an hour here at Ibrox. Finlay to Dicker. Dicker plays the ball forward. McAlenny's going to get there. Griggs is coming out. McAlenny's right the goalie. It's a goal, oh. Kawale! 1 0 Kelly! Just oh. on the half hour mark. What, what, what hu- was going on there? What a huge mistake by Alan McGregor to come out for that. He was never going to get there first. There's no question at all. You know, McAlealy's got... The, the, he must be four or five yards quicker. Easily. He's got, he's got around the keeper very easily. And then a, a very simple left foot. We pass into the back of the net. And Kelly's a goal up. So there's been loads of pressure. It's, it's actually a problem Rangers have had, isn't it? There's yeah. been loads of pressure. But not too many shots in goal at all. None that you would have said they should have scored with that one. And come on, look. After 30 minutes... And a goal ahead. Just on the inside. Uh, Kilmarnock continuing to defend here. Allen and Emorelos oh, gets the better. He's through. Oh, he's and it's scored. a goal for Rangers. Morelos gets the better of the Comano defence. It was a lovely turn by the Colombian. And uh, Dan Backman really couldn't do anything about that. And you have to be honest, though, that goal has been coming for Rangers. Yeah, they finally got the chance. They had to get it eventually, I guess. So... I think Rangers have gone to a kind of 4-2-3-1 and I think it's maybe just paid off there. So now we've got to see if Kilmarnock can deal with it.